Okay, let's do our warm ups and see where we go from there. Spread your toes out, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Get those knees going towards your second toes and then straighten them. Sitting bones down, shoulders back and down, and then bring that core into focus, ribs towards your spine and up, and just relax into your mountain pose. Spread your toes, reach your head up. Take a few breaths, drawing into the lowest part of the lungs, exhaling any stress and tension. And just keep that inner focus as we warm up. Inhaling, arms to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips out. Hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press the hands toward the floor just gently as you lift your heart. Stretch your head back a little, upper body back bend. And then pivot at your hips. Exhale, bring your hands up and your head down. Spread your toes, lengthen through your spine, move your chin, get that neck circulating a little bit. And then knees bent, slowly work your way from the bottom of the spine to the top and lift your heart. Again, drop the shoulders, stretch the head back, and take a few breaths. Spreading your toes, relaxing your shoulders. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, focus on that energy through your spine, through your system. And again, arms at shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out, head up, shoulders down. Hands to your chest, stretch out to the front. And then exhale, clasp the hands behind you the opposite way. Stretch the spine again as you lift your heart. And then exhale, pivoting at your hips, coming all the way over. Hands up, head down, toes spreading. And again, just relax, letting things lengthen through that whole back of your body. Inhale, coming back all the way up. Lift your heart, stretch your head all the way toward whatever's behind you. And again, lifting your heart, just open that whole chest area a little bit more. Inhale to the top, exhale, releasing your arms. Feel that circulation once more going through you. Side stretch next, so let's bring both arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, but the shoulders still down. Bring your hands past each other and clasp them. Bring the arms back by your ears, shoulders sitting bones down. Stretch the crown high. Stay facing the front as you lean to the side. Feel the ribs start stretching apart and then push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra stretch. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that lateral motion in your spine. Inhale to the top, shoulders down, switch the other hand to the front. Again, lengthening, stretching up, lengthening as you lean to the opposite side. And again, make sure you're still leaning forward or facing forward, not leaning forward. Get those ribs apart, the foot pressing down that you're leaning away from. Inhale back to the top. Exhale, arms to your sides. Feel those ribs a little bit more open and that spine a little bit more mobile. And we're going to twist it this time. So get the base of the skull, base of the spine stretching apart from the twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch your spine, and exhale into your twist. Take a breath, exhale over. Deepen as far as you want to go on this twist. Spread your toes, keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And then in your twist, slowly work your way up, Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back. Make sure you're in the upper body for your back bend, not the lower back. Take a breath there, chest high, shoulders relaxing. <clears throat> Inhale to the center, turn to the front and switch your arms. Get everything balanced again, aligned, arms by your ears, stretching apart your spine, and twist to the other side. Another breath. Exhale on over. 
Take a few breaths there as you breathe, letting everything relax. Weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And then again, working your way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back. Upper body back bend always when you're twisting. Take a breath, relaxing. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Arms extended into extended mountain, fingertips toward the ceiling. Shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones down. Swan dive forward, arms to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, get everything stretched out straight, and then drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs, get a good whole back stretch. And then arms to the front, and one more wind up from the bottom of the spine, and go shoulders back and down as you get back into mountain pose. Angle your toes out, bend your knees, hands above your knees, and we'll do our pelvic tilts. So just warming up that lower back pelvis, push the sitting bones back and the chest forward, and then tuck the sitting bones down and forward, ribs in, looking down. So remember, no pressure in your hands, just positioning those shoulders above your toes, and as you go through that spinal motion into the back bend as you breathe in and the forward bend as you exhale. And just let that spine move as getting the spine working gets that energy flowing even more. And the next time you're forward, just pause, come on back up, pull those shoulders back and down, coming into mountain pose. Take a breath, just relaxing. Bring your hands to your heart. Look at them as you inhale toward the ceiling. A little back bend, pulling the thumbs back as you gaze at the hands, lifting your heart. Shoulders down. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Follow them all the way, pivoting at your hips, dropping into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees into that halfway up stretch. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine. Exhale, back down, arms together, inhaling. And again, slowly working into that extended position, fingertips toward the ceiling, shoulders still down, and another back bend. <clears throat> Exhale, hands to your heart. And again, pivot on over. Let's go all the way into our child pose, transition to the floor. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Let those shoulders roll forward a little bit more. Take a breath. Drop that head even further if that spine likes it today. And then inhaling up, bring your hands out in front. Give it up, slide your legs back. We're going all the way to the floor, hips down. Chest down, head to one side, hands, palms up at your side, resting crocodile. Take a breath or two with those feet hip width apart, shoulders relaxing. On an exhalation, turn your head to the opposite side, neck working evenly in both directions. Exhale and relax. And now bring your forehead toward the floor. Bring your hands next to your head. Fingertips about the level of your temples. Elbows in at your sides. And then inhale, turn the face forward, crown toward the ceiling. Tuck your chin back toward your chest a little bit. Shoulders, shoulder blades down toward your waist. And then lift your heart a little bit more toward the front and up, crown toward the ceiling. Upper body starting position, just a little baby cobra. Take a moment, breathing, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down the back of your body. Remember, no pressure in your hands, they're just position. And on an exhalation, bring that upper body back down. Take a moment there, feet hip width apart, just relax through the hips. And we're gonna come into that upper body position. So inhale, face forward, crown to the ceiling, chin tucking back slightly toward your chest, 
And then bring your heart forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Upper body start in position for all our back bends this morning. Take a breath, stretch your toes back, focus on your right leg. Keep it straight, base of the toes, bow of the foot, reaching back as you lift that leg up. Both hips stay down on the floor and just extend out through that foot as you raise it while your heart goes forward and up and shoulders and shoulder blades down. Take a moment and breathe as you get to your maximum point. And then still pressing out through the toes, lower the leg. Take another breath. Exhale, upper body down, forehead to the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Release and relax anything you need to. And then again, inhale, face to the front, crown up, chin back lightly toward your chest. Chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, upper body starting position. Remember, stay as low to the floor as you need for your body. Toes stretching back, focusing on the left leg, knees straight, keep the hips down as you bring that foot up off the floor as high as you want to raise it. Remember, this is low back intense, so don't go too high. Take a breath, stretch it out, chest in, Crown away from you as you lift that foot and toes stretching back. Take a breath at your maximum. Breathe into it. Exhale, slowly lower that leg. Another breath. And then exhale the upper body down. As you get all the way back down, take a breath or two. Forehead to the floor. Just let that upper back relax after our back bending. And just release any tension in that lower back because, yeah, we're going to do both feet together. Once more, forehead on the floor. Inhale. Face forward, crown up. Elbows in, palms down. No pressure in your arms. Shoulders toward your waist, chest forward and up as high as it feels comfortable. Stretch the toes back, hip width apart. Keep the hips down. Knees straight as you bring both legs slightly up off the floor as much as your body wants. Remember, it's personal practice, only as high as your body wants to go. Take a breath, stretch it out, lengthening through the crown, through the toes, and opening the heart. Shoulder blades where? Yeah, toward your waist. Slowly bring those feet back down. One more breath in. And exhale the upper body, forehead to the floor. Slide your hands back under your shoulders, press into the hands, and come all the way back into extended child pose, stretching those arms forward, and then bring them back next to your feet into regular child pose. Forehead down. Spread those knees and give a good stretch on the back of your body. Or bring the knees together and get an extra stretch on that lower back area. Take a moment and breathe. And then as you inhale, sweep the hands forward and all the way up toward the ceiling, lifting high onto your knees, hips above your knees, chest above your knees, looking up. Exhale, sweeping the hands back down, all the way back into child's pose. And again, inhale, coming up, lengthening, shoulders still toward your waist as you bring those fingertips up and looking toward them. And sweeping back down again into child's pose. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, shoulders down, forehead toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. And then bring your hands out in front of you on the mat to the sides of the mat. We're going to do that pivot up. Hips dropping and rolling again onto your belly into chop into resting crocodile. Head to one side, shoulders down, hands palms up near your hips, and toes just relaxing slightly toward each other. On an exhalation, turn your head to the opposite side in your resting crocodile. Just take a moment, breathing and relaxing. And we're going to continue our low back work today. So feet hip width apart, toes gently stretching back, forehead toward the floor, 
Again, bring your arms into your starting position. Hands near your head, elbows in towards your side. Bring those shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Inhale, face forward, crown to the ceiling. Tuck the chin, shoulders and shoulder blades down beyond your ribs as much as you need to be to make that upper back into your starting position only as much as feels right. Stretch the toes back, again, hip width apart. But this time we're gonna bend the right leg and bring the foot up and flex the foot, bottom of the foot up toward the ceiling. Keep both hip bones down. And again, we're gonna raise that right knee off the floor this time with the knee bent. Push it up only as much as your body wants. Take a breath. Just open to the front, round toward the ceiling. Take another breath. Exhale, bring that knee down. Straighten your leg back out. Another breath. Exhale, the upper body down. Forehead to the floor and just relax a moment. Get those feet hip width apart. Get ready for our other side. So once more, upper body starting position. Face forward, crown up. Chin tucked slightly, chest forward and up as high as it wants to go. Ground toward the ceiling, shoulders and shoulder blades toward joints. Stretch those toes out, behind your feet, hip width apart. Bend your left foot, or left knee, and left foot, flexing that foot, bottom of the foot toward the ceiling. Hip bones down, and raise the left knee up off the floor, just a little. Not too much, remember, this is intense in the low back, and it gets more intense as we go. So only as far up as your body wants. Hip bones down, chest forward and up, crown high. Take a breath and exhale that knee down. Straighten that leg out. Another breath and exhale your upper body down. Take a moment there, breathing. Relax your shoulders, relax your hips. And of course, we're going to do both feet together. It will be more intense, so you may not want to be as deep into that this time. So once more, upper body starting position. Face to the front, crown up. Shoulders and shoulder blades down. Chest forward and crown up. No pressure in your arms. Stretch back through your toes. Bend both knees. Flex the feet. Bottoms of the feet up toward the ceiling. And again, this is going to be more intense. Don't go too far. Just raise those knees a teeny bit. Feel it. Don't overdo. Chest forward and up as high with your crown as you want to make it. Take a breath. And then knees back down. Straighten the legs. Exhale, upper body down. As you get the forehead back to the floor, hands under your shoulders. And again, press back into child's pose. We're counteracting the back bend with this nice forward bend. Let everything relax down toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. No tension, just let it all go. And bring your arms back to the center and pivot up into table position. Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Get those ribs up supporting your lower back. We've been doing a lot of work there. Feet hip with the heart. Take a moment and breathe. Stretch the sitting bones back and the crown forward. We're gonna bring the right leg back, hip with the heart, and keep those hip bones even as you bring that foot up at hip level. We're gonna do a balance, yeah, opposite arm. So left arm comes forward by your ear, shoulders back toward your waist. Stretch it out, arm by your ear, and foot at hip level. Both hips and shoulders even to the floor. Take a moment to stretch. And then bring the hand to the floor and the knee back down. Circle that wrist that you are on if you need a little circulation there <clears throat> before we do the other side. Again, ribs are up, giving good support to that low back. Everything is nice and straight through your whole back of your body. 
Left leg comes out, right up to hip level. Stretch out through the base of the toes again. And bring your right arm this time by your ear. Keep those ribs up, supporting your spine. Keep that spine nice and straight. Keep everything stretching apart, getting a little lengthening through that back of your body. Take a moment, stretching. Exhaling any tension. And then bring your hand back to the mat and your knee down. And once more, stretch back into child's pose, releasing, circle those wrists, and bring your hands next to your feet. Again, child pose, just a little relaxation there, getting again a nice stretch on the back of your body. Hands to the front, to the sides of the mat, yeah, pivoting back up into resting crocodile. Hips down, whole body on the floor. Relax through the hips, relax the shoulders down, head to one side, and on an exhalation, turn the head to the opposite side. Take a few breaths there as you get into your release. Feel that neck working evenly as you're working through this on both sides when you're in resting crocodile. Hips down, each hip width apart, turn your forehead to the floor. Again, we're starting in our upper body starting position. Hands next to your head, elbows in toward your side, shoulders, shoulder blades back toward your waist. Inhale, face to the front, crown up, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Again, maximize that lengthening through the back of your neck, out through the crown, just coming up as high with that heart as your body would like. Feet are hip width apart, we're gonna stretch those toes back through the balls of the feet, and keeping your hips again down on the floor, bring both feet up. Only as high as they want to go. Keep breathing, stretching it out, lengthening up through the crown, out through the heart, and reaching through the toes. As you're in that position, notice your lower back working. Don't overdo it. Only as much as your body wants for your personal practice. Exhale and bring the feet back down. Take a breath, exhale the upper body down. Forehead to the floor, just relaxing, feet hip width apart. Release any tension. We're gonna do that same thing again. And when we do it this time, we're gonna go a little bit further. If that was enough for you, stick with the one we just did. So inhale, face forward, crown up, chin tucked. Chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, upper body starting position. Remember, don't press into your arms. Toes back, stretch it out, legs straight, and again, hips down, bringing those feet up just a little off the floor, however far you want to, or maybe a little bit lower because what we're going to do next is move those feet toward the side about four to six inches. As that happens, it's getting more intense. Don't go there if that's too much for you. Just stay with that hip width apart position. Chest forward, crown high, shoulders down, toes stretching through the base of the toes, balls of the feet. And bring the feet back hip width. Stretch it out. Exhale those feet down. Another breath. Exhale the upper body down. Take a moment and breathe. Just relaxing. Let everything stretch out. And of course, we're going to do a little bit more if you want to. You can stick with the feet hip with the part version, or you can move your feet to start with to the edges of the mat. So separating those feet four to six inches more like we did when we were all the way up already or leaving them right at hip width apart. And again, upper body starting position, face front, crown high, chest moving forward and up, the chin slightly tucked so that back of your neck keeps stretching. Shoulders and shoulder blades always toward your waist. Stretch out through the base of the toes, whether you're hip width apart or mat width apart. And then bring those legs straight up from the hips all the way through the toes. Lift only as high as it's okay for your lower back. 
Take a breath, maximizing that upper body back bend as well, as much or as little as your body needs. Remember, personal practice always, stretching out through the toes, up through the crown, out through the heart. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale and bring those feet back down. Take a breath. Exhale once more back all the way down. Take a moment there. Breathing. And we're going to do one more version. This one, yeah, is our probably most intense version. So be gentle as much as you need to. Upper body starting position. So get those feet either hip width apart or neck width apart to start with. Inhale, face front, crown to the ceiling, chin tucking, chest forward, shoulders down, toes stretching back. And again, lifting those feet just a little off the floor or as much as you feel is comfortable for you. You might go a little lower if you're going to do this next step because again, we're going to move those feet to the sides another four to six inches. It's more intense. Don't go there if you've had enough. Always personal practice. Do what's right for your body. And then bringing your feet back to your starting position, lengthening through your spine, relaxing through your shoulders, stretching through your toes. Bring those feet down. One more breath in. Exhale the upper body. Bring the feet to hip width apart if they aren't. Slide your hands back under your shoulders. And push back once more into a nice forward bend in child pose. Reach it out. Now direct all that back bend work with a nice little forward bend. And then sitting up on your heels, bring your legs out in front to the end of the mat. Death position, core activated, sitting down slightly behind you. Keep that core working, press up through your feet as you slowly sink to the mat. As you get all the way down, just take a moment there, relax your shoulders, bring your hands out to T position. And we're going to do a twist that's a little more intense in that lower back, the chiropractic twist. So sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees gently. bend your right leg, put the foot on the left side, We're keeping the head on the floor as we roll all the way to the left side, knee to the floor, and hands together in front of you. Bring your left hand on your knee to hold it to the floor, and your right arm right above your shoulder, palm open at shoulder level. Keep it going out behind you as you bring that back of your hand toward the floor, right across from your shoulder. So don't move it up toward your head or down toward your feet. Keep the knee on the floor. That's going to release that low back into its twist as much or as little as it wants to go. So that hand may not make it to the floor. That's okay. If it's up, gravity will bring you deeper into your twist when your body's ready. Remember, keep breathing. Keep exhaling letting the ligaments of the spine release, and just allow the hand and shoulder to come toward the floor when they're ready, not overdoing the twist. Just let that lower back get its release in this twist as much as it wants. Turn your head toward that arm behind you for your neck area twist as well. Deep breaths in, really relaxing into it. And of course, on your own, you'd hold these twists longer, but for now, just let go of your knee, roll onto your back, and slide that foot near your other one. Take a moment, feeling that twist energy moving through your body, activating into your meditative center for a relaxation. But first, yeah, we got to balance and twist the other way. So sitting by the slightly towards your heels, bending your left leg, put the foot on the right foot. Uh, Roll all the way over to the right side. So you're on your right hip and shoulder, hands together in front of you, knee down to the floor. Remember, if you need any padding under your knee because you've got knee or low back issues, you can do that. Right hand on your knee, left arm right above your shoulder. Look at it and follow it behind you, going into your twist as deeply as gravity wants to bring you on this side. 
Remember, the hand may not make it to the floor, that's okay. When your spine is ready to go further, gravity will release and let that hand deeply. Again, knee on the floor as much as you'd like for that lower back twist. And turning for that neck area twist again as much as your body wants or needs. And just let gravity choose how far your hand and shoulder come toward the floor behind you in this twist. Take a few breaths, remember. Exhaling the tension, letting those ligaments release, allowing the twist to happen, but never forcing it. Always just doing what's right for your body in this particular moment. Deep breaths and just relaxing. And of course, we don't have time to keep relaxing because or keep twisting because we need to relax. So go ahead and let go of your knee, rolling onto your back, slide it down near the other foot, and turn your hands, palms up near your sides. Relax those shoulders down, turn the toes toward each other, and then just relax your lower body. Lots of work through that lower back today, so just allow it to release into that surface beneath you, maybe a little bit more. Allow that natural curve to your spine. It doesn't need to push down. Shoulders relaxing, again, as much as they need or want. Soften your face and move your jaw around. Exhale any tension. Just let everything relax completely. Just allowing your body to grow heavy, sinking into that surface beneath you. As you breathe, just deepen into that connection letting the earth support you and allowing your awareness of your body to release from your thoughts. As those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. No need to focus on the content. And as you release the content of those thoughts, forget the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let those thoughts drift and your body relax and your mind release both your body and your mind. And let that awareness turn inward. Find the peace within. Fill your body. Fill your mind. Just be peace. Keep relaxing as long as you have time and opportunity to do it. If it's time to begin returning for the rest of your day, just draw energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And just begin moving your body gently whenever you're ready to do so, however feels good for you today. Whenever you're ready for that, Final yoga hug of appreciation. Give yourself a good stretch and then sitting bones toward your heels, back slightly down. Draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for your appreciative yoga hug today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And then bringing your head to the floor, knees hands to your knees, just give yourself a nice little circle around giving a massage to that lower back where you did so much work today. 
Once you've had enough of that, you can release, bring your feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for the best of your day today. Thanks for joining me.